got five different varieties of Thai mangoes here. These were all grown down in South Florida. Take a look, here's my hand for scale with one of them here. I'm gonna go through and tell you what each of the varieties are. So let's start over here on the top left. This is a variety called, usually here in the United States, it's referred to as Mun Kun Si, but typically we refer to it as Ban Kun Si. It's a variety from Northern Thailand and a very good variety. Um, they do, most of these mangoes and this one in particular uh, stays green. They don't really have much color to them, even when they're ripe. Next, these small, lighter colored mangoes here. This is called Oak Rung. It's a variety I haven't had in a little bit. It's supposed to be nice and fragrant and sweet. Um, so I'll get to try those again. And uh, just a couple of these here. Um, this is one I don't really remember having. I may have had it at one point, but I wrote the name down here. It's called Pim Sam. I don't know if I'm saying that exactly correctly, but apparently it's a sweet and sour mango and uh, it's of a Thai origin also. And I got a few of these for free. As you can see, this is cracked. They're actually all three of these uh, Nam Duk Mai mangoes are all cracked. This is a very popular variety in Thailand. They're also sometimes grown commercially in Ecuador. Uh, very sweet when ripe, uh, very very good mango, smooth. Most of these Thai mangoes, they're a very smooth texture, not many fibers that get stuck in your teeth. And they have generally small seeds and they can also taste good or not as sour rather. When they're young or unripe or immature, they can taste decent as opposed to some varieties. Not being the case with Nam Duk Mai, if you have a unripe or sour or immature, young, sometimes it's referred to Nam Duk Mai, that's going to be very, very, it's going to be pretty sour, but this Ban Kun Si or Mun Kun Si will not be sour when it's unripe. It will be more mild, almost like a guava or even with a, a hint of sweetness, um, but I do recommend eating them ripe. So lastly, this is a very nice variety. Um, this is called Tong Dam, which means black gold, and uh, it's got a nice more intense of a kick flavor to it, or a hook even you could call it, than some of these which are sweet but not as intense, not as complex. So I like Tong Dom for the complexity and also when they get ripe, this one's actually ripe, they don't get very soft either, but this is ripe and it's a very fragrant smelling mango you smell right there towards the, towards the stem and it's a very nice smell and a very, very good flavor. All these have great flavor. At least, well, I'm not, I know this is going to be good from what I hear, but I'm not sure the flavor of the Pim Sam, but yeah, all these, the others are very, very good. Um, but check out these Thai mangoes. Highly recommend Thai mangoes. They're really, really delicious and mangoes in general. So if you can get them in your area, definitely do that. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to get into some black gold maybe soon, but uh, hope you have a great time, rest of your, whatever day, your, part of your day you're in, and Enjoy these Thai mangoes, like, if you can find them, because they're really, really good. See ya.